Hey guys, Reganite71 here. Got a great project to do today. I think you're going to really be interested in this. Compound cuts on the scroll saw and make some really neat candle holders. It only takes four inside cuts to do this too. These plans were originally posted by Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine back in 2012. They're free patterns. I'll have a link to that up on my website at uh, reganite71.blogspot.com. These are beautiful, beautiful creations though that were made by an artist named Sue May. She makes patterns. And I'm also going to have a link up to her website. Absolutely gorgeous though. Now I've taken a 4x4 four four cedar post and I've milled it down on the table saw to an inch and 7 eighths. Why an inch and 7 eighths? The reason for that is because if the block were any bigger, then in the case of my uh, scroll saw, the DeWalt 788, the arm would actually hit it when you turn it on. That would cause all kinds of problems and mar up the wood, so in my case, I've got to keep it down below an inch and 7 eighths or right at it. I suppose you could do it on a 4x4 four four post, but you'd have to use a reciprocating saw, but you'd need a really big drill bit. <laughs> the next thing that we've got to do is make sure our patterns are perfectly 90 degrees along the dotted line. This is where we're going to be cutting on one side of the board and on the other side of the board. And I like to use the edge of the table saw. You could use a straight edge. Now that the patterns are creased, we'll apply some spray adhesive. Now I'm going to apply these patterns, keeping that 90 right on the straight edge of the wood. Now this is really thick wood to be cutting on the scroll saw, so it's even more important that we wrap this with packing tape. It's going to help cool the blade down and make it cut smoother. When you go to put the packing tape on, make absolutely certain that there are no bubbles in the tape between the tape and the wood. What will happen is that saw blade will start cutting, and if you have bubbles, the sawdust will actually get in there and cover up your line. So make sure that it's good and flat. Once that I know I'm good and squared, and I am, I'm going to take the table saw and I'm actually going to cut out for the top and bottom of the candle light holders. That way I have a nice, flat, straight cut. Now the next thing I'm going to do is drill the pilot holes. I've only got four of them to drill, but one thing I'm going to do to make sure they're 90 degrees is do this on the drill press with a slightly wider bit, and I'm also using a backer board because it'll keep it from splintering on the back side. Now since this wood is so thick, I'm going to have to really take my time with the scroll saw and it's going to generate a whole lot of heat along this blade, so I'm going to make sure and use saw blade lubricant to keep her lubed up. So we want to do the inside cuts first, and then we're going to do the perimeter. As you cut the perimeter out, it's important to remember, save your scrap pieces, because you're going to need them. We're going to have to tape them back up in order to do the other side. That way we have a nice flat surface to scroll on. You know you did a good job cutting it out when it just falls right out. Especially on a thicker piece like this. This side looks good. The real test is on the back side though. And everything's nice and even. I've completed the four inside cuts here. And now it's a matter of cutting out the perimeter. you can see it taking shape. Alrighty. Now I'll cut the other side out and we'll tape it back up and do the other one. Just one side left to do now. One down, one to go. I'll get the other one done and I'll meet you over at the sanding table. Well, I just got the other one scrolled out and it looks really nice as well. 
but they're going to look really, really nice together. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my hobby knife and get into all these intricate little areas and kind of clean them up. And then I'll take my palm sander. I'm going to sand the top and bottom and get them nice and smooth. And then the next step, I'm going to take a little fine sandpaper and work all of these intricate, intricate areas and get everything nice and smooth. And then we'll do the next step. I've got a container here of boiled linseed oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a rag, dip it in here, get some of it on here, and I'm going to wipe it on this cedar. I think it's, it's really going to do a good job of bringing out the grain. And I've got a full video on finishing, uh, sanding, fret work, finishing with boiled linseed oil and clear lacquer. I'll put a link down at the bottom here so you can take a look at that if you haven't seen it. And you can see how I uh, typically do my do my work. You can see right here though how well it's doing. Bringing out that cedar color really really nicely. Well guys this is Reaganite 71. I hope you enjoyed the tea light candle project. A wonderful pattern by Sue May. I'll have that up on the blog over at Reaganite71.blogspot.com. Uh, it'll link over to the scroll saw woodworking and crafts magazine uh, pattern link that was available back in 2012. A dandy little pattern, a nice way to practice making 3D objects with the scroll saw. Uh, there's really not enough room to do a full depression with a Forstner bit in order to get a regular flaming candle to stay in there. So in the interest of safety, I'm going to recommend to you that you use an electronic candle. Well guys, this is Reaganite71. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you next time.